if you're a Christian here today, you are a singer. Now, as I say that, I know, certainly myself, that not all of us can keep perfect pitch. We won't always sound like the King's College Choir. But friends, that does not mean that we are out of tune. Let Paul explain. Teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. If you are singing the great truths of Scripture, you are in tune with the word of Christ. If you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, you are in tune with 10,000 upon 10,000 around his throne in heaven. If you are singing with gratitude for all Christ has done, you are in tune with the anthem of glory. Singing really is great. And it really is for our good. The great reformer Martin Luther once said, next to the word of God, the noble art of music is the greatest treasure to this world. After the word written and the word incarnate, music is the next greatest gift. And I don't think Martin Luther's far off the mark here because Paul is teaching that through the singing of psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, the word of Christ actually can dwell in us richly. And what is more precious than the word of Christ? Somehow, through God's gift of music, that the truths of Scripture sink deep into us, into our memory. It's often the case that as Christians draw nearer to the end of their lives, their, their minds and their memories grow a little dim. But still they have the word of God planted in their hearts because they can still remember the psalms, the hymns, and the spiritual songs. This is really important. Singing is one of God's means of grace to us. And so surely what we sing really matters too. And Paul doesn't leave us guessing here. He lists psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Psalms, that's a book of songs that we find in our Bibles. Hymns, that just means songs of praise to God. Songs from the Spirit. So not worldly truths, but songs that accord with the Spirit's words, which are the Scriptures. 